The faith journey of Thomas, from doubt to devotion. Beloved people, today, let us turn our attention to the disciple Thomas, often known as Doubting Thomas. Thomas's story is one of doubt, discovery, and deepened faith, offering profound insights into our spiritual journeys. Thomas is often remembered for his moment of doubt, but his journey with Jesus is so much more. He was one of the twelve disciples, chosen to walk closely with Christ, witness his miracles, and learn from his teachings. Thomas' story is a testament to the complexity of faith and the grace Jesus extends to those who seek truth. The most well-known episode involving Thomas occurs after Jesus' resurrection in John 20:24-29. 20, Thomas is absent when Jesus first appears to the other disciples. When they tell him about the resurrection, Thomas famously declares, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. This moment of doubt has defined Thomas for many, but it's essential to understand his skepticism. Thomas wasn't rejecting Jesus. He was seeking a personal, tangible encounter with the risen Lord. In many ways, Thomas' doubt mirrors our own struggles with faith. We, T, seek reassurance and tangible signs of God's presence in our lives. Jesus' response to Thomas' doubt is one of the most beautiful moments in the Gospels. A week later, Jesus appears again and directly addresses Thomas' concerns. He invites Thomas to touch his wounds and see for himself. At that moment, Thomas' doubt transforms into profound faith as he exclaims, My Lord and my God. Jesus responds, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. From this encounter, we learn several valuable lessons. Firstly, Jesus meets us in our doubt. He doesn't rebuke Thomas but offers him the evidence he needs to believe. Our doubts do not disqualify us from God's love. Instead, they can lead us to a deeper, more personal faith. Secondly, Thomas' story reminds us that faith is a journey. Doubt is not the opposite of faith, but a part of it. Thomas' initial skepticism led him to a more profound confession of faith in our own lives. Moments of doubt can become opportunities for growth as we seek answers and deepen our relationship with God. Lastly, Thomas' transformation from doubt to devotion encourages us to support one another in our faith journeys. We are called to be a community that embraces questions and uncertainties, providing a safe space for each other to explore and grow in faith. As we reflect on the life of Thomas, let us be encouraged that our doubts and questions are part of our faith journey. May we seek Jesus earnestly, knowing that he meets us where we are and leads us to deeper understanding and belief. Heavenly Father, as we conclude our time together, we come before you with hearts filled with gratitude for the lessons we've learned from the life of your disciple, Thomas. We thank you for the reminder that our doubts and questions are not a barrier to your love, but an invitation to draw closer to you. Lord, help us to remember that faith is a journey, and in our moments of uncertainty, may we seek your presence and truth, strengthen our belief and guide us to trust in your promises even when we cannot see. Grant us the grace to support one another in our faith journeys, creating a community that welcomes questions and fosters growth. May we be a source of encouragement and understanding to those who struggle, just as Thomas found reassurance in your presence. As we leave this place, fill us with the peace that surpasses all understanding. Let your light shine through us, and may our lives be a testament to your unwavering love and faithfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Amen.